Hi everybody, I'm Brad, Professor B. Davis. This is your San Francisco 49ers post-game recap on Niners Radio. Sunday afternoon down at the Big Easy in the Bayou country, down at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans. The 49ers fall to the New Orleans Saints 27-13, a, a rematch of an old NFC West rivalry going back from the late 60s through the 70s, 80s through and 90s. The Niners end up uh, give you a recap of the game. The Niners won the coin flip, end up deferring. They end up uh, getting the ball first. They end up in the first quarter connected when it was Nick Mullins connected with Brandy Ayuk for the touchdown. Niners went 13 plays, 75 yards, and they led 7 to nothing. In the second quarter, Robbie Gold added a 32-yard field goal, and it was 10-0 Niners, and the Niners had all the momentum going their way. But then after that, the Saints would explode. After that, they would end up scoring. 20, at one point, they would score 27 unanswered points till the midway to the port. They end up scoring 17 points. Of course, the, for the first half, they end up, it was the, uh, Lutz hits a field goal for the Saints, and it was 10-3. Then, Alvin Kamara with a two-yard touchdown run that put the tie of the game at 10-10. Then, then after that, Breeze connected with Kamara, and it was another touchdown. It was 17-10. The key of the, the touchdown before that, the, the Niners muffed a, a punt which was deflected off of uh, Niners uh, on the return team, gave the Saints great field position. And then, so it was 17-10, to 10, and then it was scoreless in the third quarter. Fourth quarter, Lutz hit a field goal. It was 20-10 New Orleans. Then the Niners end up, uh, then Kamara on another touchdown, made it 27-10. This was after another Muff a fumbled punt as Richie James Jr. muffed the punt and gave the Saints great field position deep into San Francisco's territory. And then Robbie Gold hit a 40 yard field goal and was 13. He had a second field goal. It was 27 to 13, the final score. So let's take a look at the uh, stats of the game. The Niners pretty much. Uh, Pretty much domi just about dominated statistically 2-1. to one, But most of the yards came doing. Niners had 20 first downs to the Saints 15. There were 6 out of 15 on third downs. Only for the Saints only just 1 for 10. Total net yards. The Niners outgained them 281 total net yards to the Saints 37. Niners 300 or 232 yards passing to the Saints 123. The Saints once the, the Saints defense held the Niners to only just 49 r yards rushing for the second consecutive game. To for the Saints 114 yard rushing, 66 total plays, and it was four turnovers for San Francisco to the Saints two. And the two the two costly turnovers were by the Niners special teams, which led to 14 New Orleans Saints points. That was the difference of the game, why the Niners end up being on the short end of today's Sunday's game. San Francisco did win the time of possession, however, 32 minutes and 44 seconds to the Saints, 27 minutes and 16 seconds. Final totals of the game, Nick Mullins, 24 out of 38, 247 yards, a touchdown, two interceptions, with a quarterback rating 68.6. Jared McKinnon, 18 carries for 30 yards. He averaged only 1.8 yards. Brandon Ayuk, 7 receptions for 75 yards, averaging 10.7 yards a catch. Then it was uh, Jordan Reed, six, targeted 6 times for 5 catches for 62 yards, averaging 12.4 yards a catch. Kendrick Ward, coming off the COVID list, targeted 5 times. Four catches for 26 yards, averaging 8.7 yards a catch. Robbie Cole was 2 for 2 with field goals. Drew Brees was 8 out of 13 for 76 yards passing before leaving the game with a rib injury. He did not return to the contest. The former Heisman Trophy winner, Jameis Winston, 6 of 10 for 
600 or for 63 yards. And then Alvin Kamara had a big day, three touchdowns, eight carries for 15 yards. Or no, eight catches for 15 yards, seven catches for 83 yards. He ended up getting it 9, 8, 98 all total yards. He leads the NFL with all purpose yards. In today, Sunday's game, he averaged 6.5 yards a touch of the ball. And so, with the loss, the Niners fall, dropped their record to 4-6. and six, And this was a, a game that the Niners really needed to win as they tried to get some momentum going into the second half. They finished the four, first half through the first 10 games. Their, their three-game losing streak, their sixth loss in the its first ten in their last ten games, the with the with with the both the Ram, the Rams defeating the Seahawks on Sunday, and with the Arizona Cardinals winning on a last miracle last second hail mary to the Buffalo Bills in in their game, the Niners sit now four and six, two and a half games out of first place, while the, the three team three of the four teams in the NFC. West are virtually tied for first as the Niners will go in their bye week with a 4-6 and six record and with all the injuries and multiple players going on IR or on the COVID, or on the COVID list, the Niners will now have to look at the best case they will have to look for is to shoot for the wild card and as a three-way tie, the Niners will have their bye week, the Seahawks and the Cardinals will play up in Seattle on Thursday night head to head with the Cardinals if the season ended today the Cardinals most likely would have the tie breaking advantage over Seattle because of their head to head win back in Arizona a few weeks ago so the Niners hopefully they could get well have a will join their bye week and hopefully they could go into the second half of this season try to hopefully try to salvage something try to salvage their season have a better finish in the second half it looks very bleak right at this time with all the injuries, with what has happened through the first half, with all what happened with no OTAs and due to the pandemic with no fans, only have won only one game in their last four games. It could see if the Niners could just play better after their bye week. And they'll be back in action two weeks from today. They'll be back in action when they take on the Los Angeles Rams at SoFi Coliseum at the SoFi Stadium, the new SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, right near the old Hollywood racetrack, and we're near the Great Western Forum in Inglewood, California. Kickoff time is at 1.05 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. will be seen on Fox. And the Niners' next home game won't be until two weeks from tomorrow night when they take on the Buffalo Bills, who have sole possession of first place in the AFC East. That's two weeks from... Tomorrow night on December the 7th, and that will be back at the Mecca at Levi Stadium. So, Niner fans, Niner's Radio Giveaway, enter a pick of your number, PayPal, or Vimo. Tune in this Friday night at 6 p.m. 7 Mountain Time, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Niner's Radio. They'll pick out the winners of, of, this, of this raffle. There'll be all sorts of prizes. Check us out at Facebook.com slash Niners Radio. And the Niners fans, the Niners didn't score two touchdowns on Sunday against the Saints. But when they score two touchdowns or more, you could get your, your free Jumble Jack Burger at your local participating Jack in the Box restaurants throughout the Bay Area. When the Niners score two touchdowns or more, that would be a... A free Jumble Jack with your purchase of a large drink. Next time when the Niners score two touchdowns or more in a game, every Niner faithful will win a free burger Jumble Jack with their purchase of a large drink. Visit your Bay Area participating Jack in the Box restaurants. And, Niner fans, do you have a coffee app? Download Pete's app and you can use the code NINERS to get $5 off on your first in-app order. Plus, great weekly exclusive Touchdown Tuesday offers for the rest of the year. Pete's Coffee is a proud partner of the San Francisco 49ers. Once again, the final score on Sunday. Niners fall to the New Orleans Saints down at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome 
in New Orleans. They fall. Niners fall to the Saints, 27-13. With the loss, the Niners fall to 4-6. They sit alone dead last in the NFC West, while the New Orleans Saints improve their record to 7-2 to maintain a half-game lead over the Tampa Bay Bucks in the NFC South. All right, Brian Professor B. Davis said so long. You've been watching San Francisco 49ers post-game recap on Niners Radio. Niners Radio is an association with ASN Bay Area. 49ers football, forever faithful of the Bay.